Welcome to the Slay Fats for Life. Hi guys, today's topic is going to be no fap, masturbation, and porn addiction. I'm also going to reveal the real truth, and myths of all these. Over the past few months, I have received lots of questions about no fap. So, I have decided to post more, and more details about this no fap, or no masturbate. The name comes from the internet slang term as fap which originated in manga comics representing the sound of masturbation. If you go to any NoFap website, you will see that, it's basically about helping people quit porn through education, and support. Thus, it isn't about stopping masturbation, which many people claim NoFap is about. Simply stated, it's about the potential addiction to porn. Thus, it isn't about stopping masturbation, which many people claim NoFap is about. Simply stated, it's about the potential addiction to porn. It isn't a movement, or some kind of religious, or anti-masturbation website. They don't want to restrict porn, or control it. It isn't just for men, because women can also be addicted to porn. It's for people who want to free themselves from compulsive sexual behaviors, which many times revolves around porn. NoFap helps their users overcome their sexual addictions so they can heal from porn-induced sexual dysfunctions, improve their relationship, and ultimately live more fulfilling lives. Why do this? Why did so many guys keep asking my opinion about it? Well, one reason, or belief of no fap is that after abstaining from porn, and masturbation for a period of time some of no fap user claim to experience. Dramatic increase in social confidence, energy, concentration, mental acuity, motivation, self-esteem, emotional stability, happiness, sexual prowess, and attractiveness to the opposite sex. Some NoFap users, say their brains were warped by porn at the expense of real relationships. Now, I'm going to talk about the benefits, and myths. People who promote NoFap, and not the NoFap.com website specifically, but just all the various blogs, YouTube videos, etc. says that porn causes dopamine levels to constantly go up and stay high. Thus, causing an addiction just like cocaine, amphetamines, heroin, etc. and hundreds of thousands of other activities that stimulate dopamine receptors, but these people say that there is no limit with porn as to the potential. Dopamine damage, but there is with other things that I have mentioned, your body has limits with everything. It will always balance itself hours, and it does so after you orgasm by decreasing dopamine, increasing serotonin and increasing prolactin levels. Something that other dopamine including activities cannot do. I'm not going to get into the science, it gets complicated, and boring. Needless to say, please don't think that by stopping porn, and masturbation, you will somehow magically fix your need for dopamine. You will simply go get a dopamine high from somewhere else because of genetic issues. There's the theory that if you don't masturbate, you will also improve your dopamine levels. Feel more confident, happier, and so forth. However, some of these same people are okay with you having sex. So, what's the difference? Listen, if you don't get it out, and have an orgasm, your body, especially in men due to their higher sex drive, testosterone and massive sperm production. We'll get it out in the middle of the night through a nocturnal emission, better known as a wet dream. It's how the body gets rid of old sperm, to make room for new, healthier sperm. Thus, not having an orgasm for 30, or 90 days. As some of these no fap advocates recommend. Is bad for your body. It's also bad for your hormones. It increases stress hormones, some will say that not masturbating increased testosterone. That's totally wrong. Masturbating increases testosterone, and after you orgasm, it comes back down, and then it goes back up. Trust me, there are far more benefits to having an orgasm, than not. The problem is when, you are addicted to masturbation, and more specifically, porn and it's getting in the way of you living a better life and achieving your goals. What is the addiction? So the first real question is what is defined as an addiction or more specifically about today's subject, porn addiction? Well, 
There are lots of definitions, and part of addiction is first and foremost, a genetic predisposition. Whether it's to porn, drugs, food, or something else, some people just have addictive personalities. I have seen this over, and over again, in the past few decades. Usually one, or both parents have an addictive history as well, there's the general definition that an addiction is, something you do in the face of adverse, and negative consequences. If it's hurting, or harming someone else, or yourself. For example, you get ADUI and yet, you keep drinking, and driving. You get lung cancer, yet you continue to smoke. In case of porn addiction, a better definition might be. If it inhibits partner-oriented behavior, or it's done in public, or get in the way of day-to-day -day living. Obviously, if you are masturbating in public, you got a problem that needs to be addressed. If porn addiction is getting in the way of work, your daily responsibilities, or you spending time with family, friends, and having a social life, you've got a problem. More importantly, if it's preventing you from having a relationship, then yes, you need to get this situation under control. For example, if your girlfriend wants to have sex, but instead you could rather go watch some porn, and masturbate, that isn't good. There's nothing wrong with masturbating, as long as it isn't replacing intimacy with someone else. Now, some people have a very high sex drive, and maybe their partner only want to have sex two times a week. While they want to do it daily. Well, in this situation to have sex with your partner as much as they can and want to and the rest of the time go masturbate. We all have different sex drives. It could rather you go masturbate, instead of cheating on your partner, right? The reason why, I have mentioned all of this, because I have some friends asking me, if it's wrong that they masturbate daily. This usually comes from younger guys, and I tell them to enjoy it because later on, in life when they are older, they are not going to be as horny. They will not want to masturbate daily. But again, I go back to the main problem. If porn is preventing you from having real relationship, especially intimate ones, then yes, you are probably addicted to it. If you can't control it, and are limited, so you can also have a real, intimate relationship, then like a drug you need to just stop. Put some kind of program on your computer, or phone to block all porn sites. So, you can't access them. See how you feel after a few weeks, or a month, or two. You can still masturbate without porn, but again don't let it replace human interactions, and intimacy with another person. The bottom line is that in today's modern society we are overstimulated because of stress, and especially, electronics. We have access to thousands of TV shows, books, articles, videos, pictures. Never has our brains, and bodies been so overstimulated. Thus, you will need to replenish these energy stores, dopamine, and serotonin levels, normalize cortisol, and other stress hormones. This is why so many people have anxiety, depression, feel panic, and stress all day long, and feel uncomfortable in social settings. If you want to really help normalize your dopamine, serotonin, and cortisol levels, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more informative content, and thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.